no. Maybe? I was holding freaking block and you know what I mean. Why are attacks designated to the block button? Where it's just like, oh, I need to hold a block so I don't get attacked. Well, what do you do for you? You're gonna get attacked anyway because you can't block out of your block attacks. The enemies are invincible in their attacks. Fun. Ow. Enemies can just dive through your attacks. That that's fair. Did I get hit during that? I swear I did. Once again, which way do I go? Because ooh. These are archers. Fuck, fuck you, game. Oh, we're gonna get you in a combo forevermore. Welcome to shit design school 404. Enemies should never be able to forever combo you. And I don't know where I am. I don't like games. They're just like, ooh, here's a secret, and which way will you go? A way that looks like it could be the way forward? Or a way that looks like it could be the way forward? Which will you choose? It's like, would you like to go through door number whatever or door number whatever? I'd like them to be labeled, please. For my convenience. Because you'd think the little aside patch, a little side passage. Fuck off with these, these invincible. Uh, fuck off. Fuck off. They can be invincible in their attacks, but you can't. Why I devolved to this single combo forever and ever because I just don't want to deal with your bull. This keeps them from attacking the most. This exploits their dodging the most. This exploits their blocking the most. Screw it. I'm using this combo forever and ever. 
and that just doesn't seem fair. Oh well, I guess that was, that was it. A health box. You'd think the little aside passage would be the bonus, and then the scaffolding that leads to a way would be the way. Apparently not. So weird. I guess let's go up. Because I don't know. Oh. I'm... I'm confused. But okay. Now we just gotta go through here again and put the necklace on and we'll be on our way. So far, the cliffs haven't been that annoying. Basically, so far, Athens, basically the boat in Athens, basically, yeah. Basically, the Athens and everything before it is great. Uh, then we have Pandora's Temple, which is terrible. The Cliffs of Madness so far have been okay. The enemies aren't that annoying. Unless they do the weird thing where they glitch you off into oblivion, which is highly annoying. But so far, this is really good. Please do not bother some. Ah! Now we can. You can't be. You can't just have a nice little moment of respite for the player. No! We have to torture them at every conceivable moment! <laughs> um, on one hand, annoying gameplay. On the other hand, the Greek gods are dicks. The path before Kratos was clear, but still... The memories came rushing back, as familiar and permanent my as nipple. the blades chained I wrists. like my nipple. Memories of what he'd done in the name of Ares. Memories of how he'd become a servant to the god of war. A beast. His humanity robbed. <laughs> That's like a neck and chop. He chased oh. only with the will to murder. No one was safe. Entire armies fell before Kratos, and the soldiers who followed him on his unending path of conquest, all in the name of his master. Those who offered resistance of any kind were dealt with quickly. They built this temple to offer prayers to Athena! This entire village stands as an affront to Lord Ares! Burn this village! Burn it to the ground! Emboldened by the god of war, Kratos' army was ruthless, feared throughout the world for their brutality. All that mattered was conquest in the name of Kratos, their great leader, who had become near invincible. He feared nothing. But there was something about this temple, something forbidden. All his instincts told him he should never cross its threshold. Never step inside. Beware, Kratos. The dangers in the temple are greater than you know. But the village oracle's warning fell on deaf ears. His ambition would not be denied. All who opposed him would die. The challenge in this temple. Hello, Wilhelm. Where's the challenge in here? Is it the inevitable reveal? In that instant, the glory he had reveled in turned to horror. The image of his two final victims would stay with him for all his days. With that act, Kratos knew he could no longer serve his master. How did they even he get had there? One calling now, the death of Ares. He would murder the god of war. 
How did his family get there? How did he not know they were there? How did he... what you did that night? I don't know how he di didn't recognize his wife and child. You are a dumb, Airy. Uh, you're a dumb Kratos. Find me. Time for you to see the dentist. Please, I have your best intentions at heart. So I do have to call up a one slight uh, plot hole in the story so far. Why would Ares ever need Kratos when he has all of this? He has the Harpies. He has the Minotaurs. He just has everything. But... No, I'm, I'm gonna have this one guy, and then I'm gonna have him kill his wife and child. For the lols, I guess. Yupada, zazupada, fly away, baby boy. Baby boy in the sky, kill your family, watch you cry. Lol. Also, who was that oracle who's just like, ha 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 ha, he killed his family? Because, I mean, she had the Omega symbol. At least I think it's the Omega symbol. She had the same symbol that we've been sealing, see sealing, seeing throughout this entire game. Meh, meh, meh. But yeah, I still don't know. It's just like... How did he not know where his wife and child were? If they left him to go someplace else, to, out of fear of him, why at all, if anything, does make sense? I don't know. I don't think the game knows either. Could be anything. Why time limit? Why time limit? You don't... We are masters of challenges! I don't like this at all. So, that one's pointless as all shit. Oh boy, more statues. Ah ha ha, I sure do love statues and glorious puzzles involving them. <laughs> Like, obviously, there's something to do with this statue. But I don't know, because I can't look the fuck around! I hate this fucking camera system. Maybe I just destroy it?
What the fuck do I do? Explain. Explain. Can you not actually fucking explain your fucking goddamn game for once? Why would they have it there? Again, why do they just remove the fucking indicators? This is just annoying as shit. Why would they have no indicators after a while? Keep the fucking indicators, because you have so many different kinds of fucking doors. Here are fast enemies. All they do is dodge and block and dodge and block. So they can respawn, so they can dodge and block some more. Seriously, this game is terrible at explaining shit. Scrap the puzzles. The puzzles don't do anything. Because, like, so the entire thing is just like, oh, maybe a thing. I would have gone back to the door sooner if they didn't have the fucking button there. But no, they did have a button there. They don't need the fucking button there if you're not meant to go there yet. Yay, these things. Come forward, spirits. Fuck these things up. Because, like, here, the combat is fine. And it's only killed me once because of an annoying enemy type, in my opinion, that I can't wrap my head around. The puzzles are annoying as shit because they don't know how to actually telegraph them at all. Because, like, that entire section, it's just like, oh, here's a button that raises a gate, but how do I get around it? It's like, aha, I can raise the other gate by placing a statue on it. Then they don't explain, like, oh, now you need to go and open the door elsewhere. So it's a three-part puzzle with two parts that are right next to each other. That is annoying as shit. It is just so annoying that there is a fucking actual goddamn thing. It is just so annoying that they actually have the two parts of the puzzle right there and the third one is the innermost one so you need to activate the other two to get to it which leads to the assumption oh maybe I'm meant to do something with that one next nope the last one you do is the first one and that annoys me as all hell it's not terrible, but it's just like, have some common sense. Actually design, lead the player. That is your job as a developer, to make something so it leads the player in the correct path. So the player goes, oh gee, this is um, automatically obvious that it's not, not meant to go around just yet. And then you can take that and go the other direction. So instead of wasting my time thinking, oh, I go press the statue, and then I press the button, and then run to the statue. Instead of wasting time doing that, I actually know where to go. Most powerful souls. So it's already at maximum. Yay. And now I'll start up upping Poseidon's rage. I guess, because that's the second most I'm going to be using, I guess, maybe. That was ballsy as all shit.